Hey everybody, I'm Nikki Dinky. Welcome to my kitchen today. We're talking granola bars. If you're like me, you love granola bars. They're great for on the go, but I have a million different kinds because I find that I'm never really happy with either the amount of calories, the amount of nutrition, or just the plain taste of it. So our solution is to make our own granola bars. You can do it. It's really not that hard. It's super simple. And the really great thing about this is that you get to customize it. If you hate nuts, don't put in any nuts. If you love dried fruit, put in a ton of dried fruit. It's really up to you, and of course there's gonna be no preservatives. We're gonna make it really high in fiber. It's gonna be really damn good for you. So let's get started. So the main component of our granola bars is gonna be oats. In the grocery store, you wanna look for old-fashioned oats. It just means that they're whole, unlike steel-cut oats, which are just cut-up oats. You also wanna look for oven-toasted or toasted oats. However, I picked these up and I just, I feel like they're a little pale. And when you're cooking low calorie, you gotta take every opportunity to make each ingredient the best it can be. So I'm gonna throw these on a sheet pan at 400 degrees and just toast them up a little bit more. All right, time to work on what's going to hold it all together, give it some chewiness, give it some crunch. We got uh, three egg whites and one whole egg. It's gonna start us off. Now I've got one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I really encourage you to get the real vanilla extract and not the imitation vanilla. You know, one, one and a half teaspoons is all we need for this recipe, because it really goes a long way. It's got such a beautiful, potent flavor. If you get the imitation stuff, it's not gonna have as strong of a flavor, and I don't know, it's just not as good. So get the real stuff, get some great vanilla extract, put in one and a half teaspoons. Now I'm gonna put in one tablespoon and one teaspoon of canola oil or vegetable oil. I'm just looking for an oil that doesn't have a lot of flavor. So something really neutral based. Now we're gonna add in some ground cinnamon. I've got a teaspoon and a half here. Next we're gonna add some dark brown sugar. I have three quarters of a cup here. And if you have light brown sugar at home, that's really okay. But if you don't work with dark brown sugar a lot, I really encourage you to. It's got more molasses in it, and the flavor, it's not just sugar. I mean, it's sugar and it's delicious. But the flavor's got just a deeper, richer nuttiness in it. Mmm, I mean, it's gonna give us that sugar and that chewiness we want, but it's gonna give us a lot of flavor too. And it's the same amount of calories as light brown sugar or regular sugar, so why not? So that is it for our mixture. You just wanna make sure to work it through really good. Make sure all that cinnamon distributes to everything because we're gonna be adding in our oats and our nuts and all the good stuff. And you wanna make sure that it coats everything nice and evenly. So I've got our oats that were nice and toasted in the oven. You can see they got kind of a darker browner color and they just taste better. They taste toasted. So we're gonna add this to our wet mixture. All right, time to add some fun stuff. I got about mm, two thirds to three quarters of a cup of these dried fruits. Mm, I got a mixed bag of dried fruits because I love them all. I've also got a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup of oven roasted nuts. So last but not least, we are putting in a quarter cup of unprocessed bran. Now, you don't need to add this if you don't have it, but it's not very expensive, and what it is, it is just the bran that you would find in bran muffins, or a really great piece of whole wheat bread. What I love about it is that in a third of a cup here, you've got 35 calories, which is nothing, and eight grams of dietary fiber, that's 30% of your daily value, and three grams of protein. So by adding in this little amount, we are upping our protein and our fiber a ton. That is it guys, time to get your stir on. So what I got going on here is I've lined my eight by 11, it's either eight by 11 or eight and a half by 11, or maybe it's a piece of paper, I don't know. It's about an eight by 11 baking dish. You're gonna line it with tin foil, and then you're gonna cover it really heavily with cooking spray. We're doing a lot of this just to make sure it doesn't stick. You know, we've got some sugar in there and so it's gonna have a tendency to wanna stick together and stick to our pan. So hopefully this will help. 
All I'm doing now is really compressing this down, putting a little bit of pressure, making sure it all sticks together. And of course, making sure that it's nice and evenly distributed. We want it all to cook nice and evenly. All right, that looks just about perfect. Oop, there's a little on my spoon. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, that tastes good now. It's gonna taste good soon. Or, it's gonna taste even better. I'm gonna put this in a 325 degree oven and we are gonna have granola bars. Unbelievable. All you're smelling is that cinnamon and that vanilla and that hint of sugar. Mmm, it smells like you're baking a pie, and yet we just make granola bars and they're ridiculously good for you. I know. So, what we want to do is you don't want to let them cool completely before you cut them. You want to cut them when they're kind of semi cool or else they might be a little hard to cut. But what I do want to do when it just came out of the oven is I'm just going to work the sides a little bit. Chewy, but it's got great bite and great texture. Mmm. And the flavor is sweet, but not too sweet. It's just great. I mean, this is the perfect snack. Mmm. I see a little vanilla back there. Mmm. -hmm. It's the perfect snack. It's exactly what you want it to be. I really encourage you guys. I'm just showing you a technique. Take it, run with it, have fun, and enjoy.